Hello, let's see now another of the apis of the Shizem culture, of our own culture, concerning a specific study of Shinken Zui. This Zui comes from the verb uh, otoroeru, which means to decline, to, to become weak. Uh, we'll, we'll see, first of all, the points of impact and the points in which the, the OK, in this case, will be damaged. Or what is the thought behind Shinken Zui? I will first show very slowly, he is, he is holding an Yaito, so I will show slowly the points which should be uh, noted and taken when we are doing this kind of technique, this kind of Shizen study. So he comes for a Mako, and we enter straight forward, putting a Atemi in the, in the end of his, of his ribs, in the beginning of his ribs, actually, and uh, we take off his sword, and by now, what we'll do is, we'll cut the inner part of his thigh, you know, you, you can see the, the hamon upward, the cutting edge upward, and we'll take him down from here. Although this could be something um, worthy of discussion or something which would bring this topic to mind, they would also use, after they got Yuki here, to step over the tsuka in order to keep him restrained or to cut him. You know, stepping over a katana is something a samurai wouldn't do because of the respect they would have towards the weapon and the symbol it means. But we are talking about something which is precisely a cultural and uh, almost um, something which belongs to a clan, to a, tr a tribe at that time. Am I using a stronger leverage by crossing the, the blade over his whole body? and one more time putting him down. See, the main idea was to get him cut at the same time we put him down, we get him controlled, or we take all his, all his power and all, his, all the possibilities of his weapon, of his major weapon, the katana, the shinken in this case, and take him down. using this angle, so he cannot use the Shinken or the Edeto to cut us, preventing him to use his, the power of his shoulder or his elbow. And taking him down. So now we take, for example, uh, him or our partner using a Bokuto, and so we can perform some passages of it faster, a bit stronger, so we can see the idea of this Shinken Zui. For instance, now, let's see how they could, what they thought to reach the legs of the enemy in just one or two movements. Having his hand off and then having all these angle and space free to move. And uh, quite interestingly, what we will have here is we'll kneel down and have his weight to us, pointing to us, so we could pierce him first violently at this height. So after we have pierced him down, we have all the leverage and all the, the fixed point we need to perform a, a full control or a full cut of the, of the armpit or of the line of the shoulder. So first, piercing down fully and then cutting. 
So again, one more time, what we can see is the use of what they had at that time, including stones, including pieces of uh, steel, of iron, which they could use to uh, have a stronger impact and an impact which would cause even more damage and uh, quite an unorthodoxical uh, usage of their, their movements concerning the, the katana itself. Uh, once we just saw they could even step over, kneel over and having a kind of behavior which would be different from the samurai point of view at that time.